Hi, everyone. Hope you're enjoying Technical Takeoff. My name is Benjamin Flam, and I'm a product manager on the Apple MDM team here at Intune. And today we'll be taking a deeper look at how to manage macOS updates using Intune. We'll start by discussing how updates have evolved over the past few years with the introduction of Apple's declarative device management protocol, also known as DDM, and why you should be using it to manage software updates in your organization. Next, we'll look at how you can manage the entire end-to-end -end software update experience using DDM, from enforcing a deadline to controlling system settings and automatically enforcing the latest update to install on devices. Finally, We'll wrap up with some troubleshooting tips and links to useful documentation that I find helpful in my day to day. So let's start with an introduction to Apple software updates. We can't talk about DDM without first understanding the problems that it solved in MDM. The MDM way of managing updates relied on four commands, specifically the scan for available updates, which was a command that we sent to tell devices to go check for available updates. And then we would send another command that said, tell me which updates that you found. And then we would take those updates and choose one to install using the schedule update command. And then finally, we would constantly pull the device with an OS update status command, just trying to get the status of that update installation on the device. And as soon as a command was sent, it was out of the MDM's control. So when an update was installed, restarts could happen in the middle of the workday, causing disruptions to your user's productivity. On top of that, settings were scattered across different payloads, which added more work to keep track of what's being configured um, across software update restrictions or within your update policies themselves. And all of this ultimately resulted in a ton of back and forth between MDM and, and each device and led to a poor user experience. So in comes DDM, where in MDM, devices are waiting for the server to tell it what to do. In DDM, devices are autonomous in their management. And using the software update example, devices would know that they had an update available, but they would just sit there and wait for MDM to tell it what to do with it. Now using DDM, we can tell the devices a specific day and time that they need to install an update all the way down to the minute. So if Apple releases a new OS version and you configure a policy for it to install by say Friday at 10 PM, the device is aware of that deadline and it'll handle everything from the initial download to notifying the user about the update and then finally installing that update. So configuring a desired state and making devices more autonomous is amazing, but it gets even better. Devices will also proactively report status changes to the MDM server so that you can get a near real-time picture of what's happening with the software update on a device. So now that we have the context for DDM software updates, let's talk about how you can use them to enforce software updates in the macOS settings catalog. For those that don't know, we've built support for DDM right into our settings catalog so that we can easily add settings with minimal effort, ultimately getting these settings into your hands more quickly for day zero. The ability to enforce software updates was announced by Apple at their WWDC 2023 conference and is available for devices running macOS 14 and later. So let's quickly look at each of these settings and what you can configure for them. First, we can specify a target build version. This is the build version associated with an OS version, and it can be used to test beta versions of Mac OS. Next, we can configure a help page for users that's presented to them in system settings so that they can learn more about the updates on their device that are being managed by the organization. This can be any site, even one specifically hosted by your organization. Next, we have the target date time where we can specify the exact day and time for when we want an update to be installed. This will schedule the update in a device's local time. So you don't have to worry about creating a policy for each time zone like we previously had to do with macOS update policies. You create one policy for February 2nd, 2025 at 5 p.m. And that's 5 p.m. no matter if it's Eastern time zone if it's in European time zone, Australian time zone, it'll be 5 p.m. globally. 
Finally, we can specify the target OS version that we want to install. This dropdown is automatically populated with available updates from Apple Software Lookup Service Endpoint. So you can either choose from those updates that are available from that endpoint, or you can still type in a different OS version if needed. So let's take a look at the on-device experience for enforcing software updates. So we can see that there is a, an update armed for 15.3, and the user gets prompted with a managed update notification saying that 15.3 is going to be installed by today at 5 p.m. So when a device is within an hour of an enforced software update deadline, the user will get prompted every few minutes that this update is about to force restart and install on their, on their device. So we can see another update notification is prompting the user. And then finally, one minute before the restart is supposed to happen, another notification will come up warning the user that their computer is about to be restarted and trigger a one minute countdown before that update can install. So we see the countdown finishes and the device is restarting and installing the update. And then because I'm screen mirroring, it has to reconnect to the device. I come back a little bit later and the device is ready at the home screen. So I log in and we go back and open up system settings. And we can see that the device is now on the latest version, which is macOS 15.3. And it's running the latest software update available or allowed by, by the organization. Now let's look at the newer software update settings released this past year. These new settings are available for devices running macOS 15 and later. And essentially, these are all of the settings that were spread across multiple payloads, like software updates and restrictions, and even some of the command-based functionality in MDM update commands. But now they're combined into a single configuration. So let's break down each setting like we did with the software update enforcement configuration. The allow standard user OS updates setting. Previously, this was configured using the software update MDM payload, um, but the functionality is the same in DDM. The only difference is now that it's been ported over to the software update setting configuration. Next, we have automatic actions. This was also configured using the software update payload for macOS and the download only command that was part of macOS update policies. This lets you control if users can manually download or install updates, or if it's always enabled or always disabled. Some of the more familiar settings in the new DDM configuration are the deferral settings. These behave just like they did in MDM where you can prevent users from manually updating their devices. Um, but it's important to note that these can still be overridden by an enforced update, which will take precedence over any delays that you have in place. Next, we have the notification setting. This is new to DDM, and its closest equivalent in MDM would be the notify only command, where you could send a command to tell the device to download an available update and then notify the user to install it. Um, but this is much better in DDM, and, and what this does is it controls how update notifications are presented to users. So like I mentioned before, DDM will automatically handle all of the update notifications that get presented to users. Um, and so you can use this to control how many uh, update notifications you want your users to see. So if this is enabled, then the users will get their, their daily notification prompts. Um, and then these progressively become more frequent as a deadline approaches. If you set this to be disabled, then the device will only prompt the user when the deadline is an hour away. And then within that hour time frame, they'll continue getting prompts before the, the restart occurs. Finally, we have the rapid security response settings. These were managed using the restrictions payload and are now a part of the software update settings in DDM. So these allow you to enable rapid security responses for devices and allow you to control whether or not users are able to roll back a rapid security response if needed. 
So let's take a look at a short demo of how these settings can be used to control the user experience. So let's start in system settings. So go to general and then scroll down to device management, open the management profile and scroll all the way down to the device declarations. Here we can see that the for the global settings, all of the automatic actions like being able to download and install OS updates automatically are disabled. The notifications for DDM updates are also disabled, so this will only show the update uh, notifications for the last hour before the deadline. And then we can also see that rapid security responses and their removal are disabled. And finally, we can see that minor updates are delayed to be 90 days after when they're initially made available by Apple. So we close this. We'll go back to general and open up software update. And here we can see that the version, OS version of this device is currently on 15.1.1. And right now the latest available version is 15.3. This is something that I was testing recently. And we can see that this is due to that 90 day delay. Um, so there's the statement saying that your Mac is running the latest software update allowed by your organization. So we see the OS version, we see the build number. We can also go into the automatic updates section here and we can see all of the automatic actions are disabled um, for being able to automatically download new OS updates or install those updates as well as the rapid security response settings. Now let's talk about a new feature specific to Intune. We heard your feedback that DDM updates are amazing, but it was frustrating to have to update your policies manually each time a new OS version was released by Apple. You can now configure the software update enforce latest settings to help with this. How this works is Intune will look at the devices targeted with this policy and create a software update enforcement policy with the latest OS version that applies to them. And we grab that from Apple software lookup service that I mentioned earlier. You can also configure a software update delay so that you can test the latest updates before these devices get upgraded to ensure compatibility, as well as the specific time that you want the latest update to be enforced on the device. So let's take a look at how this works on the device. Let's start by creating a new DDM software update policy. You can do this by going to macOS, configuration profiles, and creating a new macOS settings catalog profile. So here we have the software update enforce latest category that's under the declarative device management category in the catalog. And the way that this works is you can enforce the latest software update version that applies to a targeted device. By using the delay in day setting, you can say, I only want this device to update this many days after a new update is released by Apple or this many days after this policy is created in the catalog. You can also specify an install time for when you want this update to happen on the device. And note that this uses the 24 hour format. Let's click next, go through scope tags. We'll add a group to our assignment and we'll review our policy, make sure it's correct and then create it. Next, we'll go to the device. We'll open up system settings and then we'll go into general scroll down to device management, and then scroll all the way down to our device declarations. And we can see that there is a required software update for 15.3, which is the latest OS update version available for this macOS device. We'll click on that, and we'll see that 15.3 is the targeted policy. And we'll also see that this update is going to be force installed by February 7th at 5 p.m. If you note the date in the top right corner, it's currently February 6th, which is when we created the policy and we added a one day delay to our policy. So that's why this is one day later and going to install on February 7th. So we'll go ahead and close out of there. We'll go back to general 
software update and we'll see that it's currently checking for updates. And then finally, we'll see that the device is armed to update to macOS Sequoia 15.3 by tomorrow at 5 p.m. Now that we've covered everything that you can do with DDM updates, I wanna share some tips to help you along the way. So let's talk about troubleshooting deployments. So the first step when troubleshooting DDM software update deployments is to check the declarations and system settings. So these look like the older MDM payloads, and you can check them to make sure that the right policy made it to the device with all of the right, um, all of the right settings and configurations, like the details URL, the right OS versions targeted, the right day and time is targeted. Um, it's important to note that the software update enforcements will show as a required software update declaration, like in the screenshot, and software update settings will show as global settings for the device. You can also check the software update pane in system settings to see if the update has actually been armed. However, if you want to take a little bit of a deeper look at what's happening with software updates on a device, I find the install log in console to provide a much richer timeline for what's happening with an update. So here you can see that a, a correct configuration is being armed, um, where it's at in the update process, and also see any errors that might have occurred. Um, so on this slide, I have the details of the update. So I can actually see that the enforced install date was for February 2nd, 2025 at 5 p.m., it has the right version string of 15.3. Um, I didn't put a build version string in there. And then I have a details URL with my um, help site that'll show up in the software update pane of system settings that users can go to to learn more about updates in our organization. And then you can actually go into these logs and see that the software update daemon is arming the update. Um, it has a specific date in there. And then you can also see the note about um, the device is within 24 hours of an enforced update. And so instead of notifying the user daily, it's going to update that notification frequency to, to one hour um, to, to kind of nudge that user into um, to get ready for an update so that they're not in the middle of you know a presentation or, or a call or something when the update happens. So you're thinking, this is great, but how do I safely migrate my software update workload to DDM? especially if I'm currently managing maybe even thousands of devices using MDM software update policies. Well, Apple's got you covered, where DDM will take precedence over any assigned MDM update policies. And the way that this works is if you do have an MDM update policy assigned to a device, and then you assign a new DDM software update enforcement configuration, then the device will essentially stop responding to any software update related MDM commands that it receives. Um, it's also important to note that we won't be adding anything new to the older update policy flow, and these will eventually be unsupported in a future release of Intune. This is because as you've seen with all the awesome DDM software update features that we've been rolling out, our team is aligned with Apple and that the future of software updates is declarative and that future is already here. I provided some useful links where you can go and learn more about managing DDM software updates in your organization. We have the Microsoft Learn documentation where there's guidance on how to create a DDM updates policy using the macOS settings catalog. And we also maintain a list of declarations that point to where they're defined in Apple developer documentation and the new Apple device management repo. You can also get more insights from the Apple platform deployment guide and WWDC videos where DDM software updates are covered extensively. I hope you enjoy the rest of your technical takeoff sessions. Finally, I want to thank you for joining and for helping drive the future of Apple device management with Intune.